All right, it's called the Weekend Rundown, but our floor director just renamed the segment the Weekend Runaround, and we have Rob from the Lanyap here to discuss the runaround. What's I happening, like that Rob? I kind of like that better. You like it's more, that? more energetic, yeah. Well, if you're running around, what can you do? Well, well, you know, I know you haven't even gobbled your turkey yet, but mm -hmm. tonight officially kicks off the Christmas season in the Azalea City. The official lighting of the tree in Bimble Square takes place tonight from 5 to 7. New Mayor Stimson can fire up his first tree out there, and then there's activities for the kids as well as, of course, Santa. You got your tree up yet? No. <laughs> no, we don't. After Thanksgiving? <laughs> yeah, sometime after Thanksgiving. Okay. I'll assemble it. Um, <laughs> tonight is also this year's installation of a creative fundraiser that's become one of the area's favorites. It's called Art Soup. Uh, you can enjoy live music, great gumbo, at 15 Places New Building at uh, 279 North Washington Street. And the best part of this is picking up one of the 200 handcrafted bowls that are, mm. that are for sale. Um, proceeds go to help areas homeless and hungry, so it's, it's a, a winner all the way around. Tickets are 40 bucks. And, Great and event a good right time. there. It is a big one. Um, the 26th edition of Mobile's International Festival is taking place this weekend, too, uh, at the Civic Center tomorrow. And it offers the sounds and sights of the uh, taste of the cultures from all over the world. And it's a lot of fun. I mean, my daughter went out there. They had the schools going out there, and you can see just tons of stuff out there. And that's, uh, it goes, goes on tomorrow. It's all day. Great music, great food, great learning, and educational experience as well. You need some educational experiences, so that would be good for you. <laughs> I am not bright. <laughs> <laughs> this, and this weekend, the Joe Jefferson Players bring the hit movie Legally Blonde to the stage. And this is a musical version of it that tells the story of the ditzy blonde who enters law school and finds out she has a brain. Mm. And shows are Friday and Saturday at 8 p.m. at the Playhouse at 11 Carlin Street, and Sunday showing is at 2 p.m. and tickets are 20 bucks. I thought that was the Wizard of Oz where they find out they have a brain. Well, there's there's a lot of brain movies out there, so this is a good one. Um, and then over <laughs> in the Florida Panhandle, a truly unique event takes place Saturday and Sunday. It's the Creek Indian Celebration Days. It's a two-day annual event, and it features intertribal dancing, displays of heritage and customs. Uh, great food and large groups of Native American vendors with authentic crafts. And that celebration takes place 9 to 5 Saturday and noon to 5 Sunday. And it's in uh, the Florida Town Park in Pace, Florida. And also wanted to mention tonight at the Mobile County Fairgrounds, I will be out there as a celebrity server for McKimmy Place's event. It's a murder mystery dinner theater. So if you want information on that, you can look on our Studio 10 page. Hey, what's going on in the latest issue of the Land yet? Well, the, the, the next one we'll have coming out next week, we're going to do some stuff on, on the upcoming Iron Bowl. Uh, we're we're going to let some people have at it with each other a little bit. I yeah. like that yeah. because uh, people usually say kind of outrageous things. Yeah, we're going to let them have at it. We're going we're gonna to have representatives from each side kind of Perfect. give each other, you know, Lanyap, lay it out there. covering the Iron Bowl, the biggest college football game of the year. You don't want to miss that. Look everywhere for the Lanyap when it comes out. We're looking in the kitchen now for one of my favorites.